In this video we're going to be looking at reflections and rotations, important understanding what the difference between the two are. And so just generally, reflection and rotation are two types of transformation. So when we talk about reflection and rotation, we use the, uh, um, the topic transformations, and they involve a change in position of the points of an object. If a shape is reflected in a mirror line or rotated about a point, uh, the size of the shape is unchanged. Hence, transformations, reflection and rotation are said to be isometric. So isometric means they are unchanged. They're sort of just reflections and rotations in regards to that transformation. So let's look at the key ideas here, and I'll get you to write these down. So as we've mentioned before, reflection and rotation are isometric transformations that are given, that give an image of an object or shape without it changing its shape and size. So it doesn't change its shape, it just moves it, uh, transforms it across or a point or a line. The image of point A, so see in this example we have, if this is our mirror line, uh, we have point A here. When it is reflected and it goes to the other side, we then donate that change as A with a little apostrophe above that. Okay, so it's sort of like um, like a contraction there, it has that little uh, um, note or uh, comma type part above that letter there. So when we show that reflection, that's how we adjust the change and show that it has been uh, reflected. A reflection involves a mirror line as shown in the diagram opposite. So here, this is what we call reflection. So when we have a mirror line, we replicate uh, what that would look like on the op opposite side if it was reflected in a mirror. And we use those uh, angles or those corners, and then we show that with that change in the letter there. Now, rotation, on the other hand, involves a center point of rotation, which we usually refer to as C, and an angle of rotation. So we can use uh, compasses to draw these circles, so you can sort of see here how we change that image. We have our center point C here, and in this case, we are going to draw this uh, rotation 90 degrees clockwise, okay, around this point here. So we draw the 90 degrees, we then reflect or we rotate this one around on that 90 degrees and this is that new image that we create. See we've moved it down 90 degrees clockwise and again we represent that using those uh, symbols there. So let's have a practice now. We'll show you what some examples are and basically some of the questions you might receive in this unit. Uh, make sure you look at the how we do these so you get an idea of how to answer the questions. So firstly, draw the reflected image. Okay, so it's going to be reflection of this shape and give the coordinates of A, B, C and D. The Y axis is the mirror line. So here we have our uh, image. We want to reflect it along this mirror line. So we're going to uh, draw it on this side here, and then we're going to denote that. So I'm going to quickly do that, and I'll show you what that would look like. Okay, so I've now added that new image in. So as you can see, it's sort of reflected on that line there. I have my new A, B, C, and D, and it's reflected on that side. So the new coordinates are down here below, showing us that reflection. Now, the easiest way to do it, if, if you're sort of drawing this, is usually count how many boxes away from that center line. So here, the A is one box along from the center line. So this one must be one box away from that center line. D, in this case, is one, two, three boxes away from the center line. Here, it's one, two, three. So you can sort of just replicate that by just getting the, a couple of key points and demonstrating that from there. Now let's look at a bit of rotation here. So draw the image of this shape here uh, and give the coordinates A, B, and D. And we're going to do that along this C. You can see here in the middle, we've got C, the center point there, which we're going to rotate around. So for A, let's do that doing anti-clockwise about C. So let's do that now quickly. Okay, so I've rotated that along that center point there, and we've gone anti-clockwise 90 degrees. So A goes from there to there, B goes from there to there, and D rotates around 90 degrees that side, and then we have the new coordinates there. So making sure you just sort of follow along from that center point, rotate it around, and just copy that image in there, as you can see. Now, well, let's look at B. If we have 180 degrees about point C, what that would look like, and we'll put that one in just down here. Okay, so now we have our image here, which we have rotated 90 and then 180, which gives us our new image down here. Um, as you can see, we've put the new coordinates below, which show us that example. So all you need to do is make sure you understand how to rotate it around that point of that center point um, and what that new reflection would look like, and then also making sure you jot down what the new coordinates are based on that rotation. So make sure you have the key points written down, uh, ask any questions as we go along, and we'll do more examples in class. Thanks, guys.